Hey guys, what's up? This is Theo here, and welcome back to part tw part 30 of uh, Solo Learn Introduction to C++. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and open up the course and uh, let it load up. So we're on functions and introduction to functions. Cool. So uh, a function is a group of statements that perform a particular task. You may define your own functions in C++. Using functions can have many advantages, including reuse of code within a function, you can easily test individual functions. If it's necessary to make any code modifications, you can make modifications modifications within a single function without altering the program structure, and you can use the same function for different inputs. Every valid C++ program has at least one function, the main function, which is the entry point to a console application. So every C++ program starts with the function that's main. We just went over that. Nice. Okay, cool. So uh, the main function takes the following general form. So it's going to return int, this is the return type, the name, okay, and then the then you have the braces, some code, and then you're going to return zero. So it's not an abnormal um, sort of execution. A function's return type is declared before its name. In the example above, the return type is int, which indicates that the function returns an integer value. Occasionally, a function will perform the desired operations without returning a value. Such functions are defined with the keyword void, which means you're not going to return any data. Uh, okay, so what should we what should we use what should we use if the function does not return any value? It's void. Cool. Um, defining a function. Define a C plus plus function using the following syntax: return type, the name, uh, the parameters it's going to take in or that you can pass to it, and here's the block of code, the body. So return type, data type of the value, function name, name. Parameters, you can pass these along, and the body, a collection of statements defining what the function does. Parameters are optional, that is, you can have a function with no parameters. Cool. All right, so a C++ function consists of what? Okay, so it's a return type, a function name, parameters, and a body. Awesome. So defining a function. As an example, let's define a function that does not return a value and just prints a line of text to the screen. So remember, we use the void keyword, void keyword the name of the function, some parens, parentheses, some braces, we're uh, printing to the console output stream our message, and then we're going to close off the braces. So our function entitled print something returns void and has no parameters. Now we can use our function in main. So here's our main method, and we're going to call this method. This is going to go find this method that you've declared and print out hi there, and then it's going to return zero and exit out of your console application. And to call a function, you simply need to pass the required parameters along with the function name. So fill in the blanks to define a function named my func that returns a void. Okay, so it's void, and it's going to print out I am a function. So we need the console output stream. Awesome. Um, functions. You must declare a function prior to calling it. For example, okay, uh, we've declared it you know, here, and then we're actually going to call it. Putting the declaration after the main function uh, results in an error, right? Because the program can't see that that function exists. Function must be declared before its call. Cool. And a function declaration or function prototype tells the compiler about a function name and how to call the function. The actual body of the function can be defined separately. Okay. So here's our function void print something. And um, so basically what this is saying is, okay, compiler, um, I'm going to put this up here, but I'm not actually going to define this until after the main method. So it looks like this is, this is okay. And this will run. That's kind of neat. I didn't know that. So fill in the blanks to print. It works on the screen type in the function prototype okay so uh, void some func and then again void some func and it's gonna print out it works awesome alright guys so that was it for part 30 uh, hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like comment subscribe and thanks for watching have a great day take care